What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, Something for the People, where the evolved hustlers come to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. I hope you guys are having an amazing rising today. I am tapping in on this good Thursday ruled by Jupiter, and we are about to definitely get off into what the almanac holds for us today. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to the new followers. What's up? And thank you for joining. And I'd like to also give a shout out to the OGs. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and continuing to engage with my content. I love you guys so much. And if you guys need a private booking, click the link in my bio and I'll be more than happy to further assist you um, i also have a store so you guys can shop for digital products you guys can also shop for spiritual supplies i have sage i have just different types of herbs and oils so check out my website the kush concierge you can click the link in the bio to get there and yeah if this message resonates don't forget to follow like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend you never know who it could help all right now that we got the logistics out the way I am checking in to this Thursday energy ruled by Jupiter. And you know, Jupiter is all about confidence, expansion, justice, authority, and it's just a very loving, jovial planet. Well, right now, Jupiter is in Gemini, so everything is coming around quickly. Um, you're juggling tasks. It's a little bit more protection in the air. So you just got to be really mindful of how you move in these streets. Now, today you might focus on money workings. You might focus on um, standing in your power. You know, it's a very lucky day. If you're doing any workings for good fortune, health, or prosperity, that's going to be favored. Today is a good day to sign for things. Today is a good day to focus on success, meditations, and affirmations. Today is a good day to create protective and restorative charms. So you could tap into that Jupiter energy and with that Gemini energy. Um, today is also a good day for justice and authority workings. If you are thinking of blessing, uh, blessing your family, your friends, your home, your business, today is a good day for that as well. Now, let me see what um, our boy Solomon is doing on, uh, uh, on a good Jupiter moment. I really gotta take the time, y'all. Don't don't I'm I'm a human, I'm a spirit having a human experience. Cause the the grimoire should have been done. Like notebooks on notebooks on notebooks. And I did start, but anyway, I ain't even gonna go to Okay. Jupiter uh King Solomon decided that he would use Jupiter for obtaining honors, acquiring riches, contracting friendships, and preserving wealth. Okay. So that's what our boy Solomon was into on Jupiter days and hours. Let's get into this astrological team. Now, we got Aries. You know what? I think it's a waxing. What is it? A waxing gibbous or crescent? Because it does make a difference. It truly does make a fucking difference. Hold on, y'all. Let me see something right quick. I do this all the time. Charges in my head and on my heart because the, the perfectionist in me is like, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> Search my face. July calendar. Like, I am but a human, so I can remember some things. Y'all know I say that all the time. I can remember some shit, but I ain't even know. Um, <laughs> hey, okay. I'm not a computer. Well, kind of like a computer, but not really. Now, how are you giving me everything but July? And I know July should be there. Okay, there you go. Way at the bottom. Anyway. Okay, Gibbies. Waxing Gibbies. I just wanted to be specific about that. So, it's the 25th. So we are about to <laughs> step into Aries. We stayed in Pisces for a good little bit. So now we're initiating new starts. 
moving forward. You know, Aries rule the head. Aries is also ruled by Mars. And when you get into the waxing gibbous phase of things, you are, I mean, waning gibbous. Waning gibbous phase of things. You are repelling. You are banishing. You are destroying unwanted things. There's a lot of introspection. Clarity and true alignment is happening. Okay. Now, today's significant um, astrology moments would be Mercury is set to enter Virgo. Um, so, very, like, strategic. Very committed. Very for sure. sure. <laughs> um, also, the sun in Leo is sextile Mars in Gemini. So, very social energy today. Very social energy. Very confident energy. We're still experiencing retrograde in about five transits. So we are going to get into that. Chiron is supposed to go retrograde in a few days too. In a day, I think. 11.55 on the month. Timestamp transformation change. Okay. So the sun in Leo right now is trining the moon. The moon is, of course, waning gibbous in Aries. So you are being given the go ahead from and the ability to create a new start, a new way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you're gaining the confidence to do that. Let me check out my astrology note. Astrology notes, where are you? Let me see. Do, 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 do. Because I want to keep it thorough. Why well, never close out? What is it about people who don't be closing out their tabs? <laughs> Oh, never close out my tabs the way I should, but so many tabs be open, even in my good notes. I'd be like, oh my God. Okay, anyway. So yeah, they're they're working together. They're giving you're getting the okay, so you could even look at these transit like you're being given the gift for of a new start, a new way of thinking. If you change your thought process, this is going to boost your confidence. This is going to boost your morale. You're going to want to create a new team. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's like, that's cool energy. The sun in Leo is sextile Mars in, what is this, Gemini? Yup. So you are, again, working with the compatibility. They're working in compatible today. Lots of movement. That air and that fire in his work that it's at zero degrees, so it's pretty potent. So again, um, new starts, new things, new way of thinking, being able to juggle like multiple tasks, see a new way, it's um communication. People may be prompted to tackle and say things and really just get a clear understanding right about now. They're confident in that. They they become confident in their speech, confident in how they think, you know. So that's a good vibe. The sun in Leo is sextile Uranus in Taurus. It is trining Neptune in Pisces, which is retrograde. So anything that um, there is a review, it's a slowdown. So you can take a chance, a time, I'm talking about a chance. So you have a chance to look at things from a deeper perspective. And this way, you can kind of incorporate your intuition on what what new is coming for you, what you want to create long term. So you are going to be able to get that energy from your a higher perspective today, because again, Leo is in, if the sun is in Leo, and Leo is ruled by the sun. So I feel like. Like a lot of things are being illuminated and magnified. Like it's like you can't miss it. You know what I'm saying? Leos are very confident. They're very like, you know, depending on their moon sign and their Mercury. Uh, because I'm a Leo rising and I'm like very like <laughs> I'm seen, but like I'm not like an outwardly like, how do I put it? 
I'm a popular loner, if that makes any sense. But I, people know me, people see me, you know, even if I don't pop out, it's that Leo energy that illuminates me. That shit's so funny to me, though, because my moon is in Capricorn, so I'd be like, eek, you know. <laughs> I be mean, not really, I be dug the fuck out, but people be paying attention. Even if they act like they're not. Anyway, um, the sun in Leo opposing Pluto in Aquarius retrograde right now. Again, with the hostility, again, with the resistance. So a lot of people are feeling resistant about making the necessary changes and endings. Like some people is just they don't know when enough is a fuck enough. That's that's just what I heard from spirit. And this is, you know, some people let their they, they mistake confidence for arrogance, you know. And they don't want to change their perspective. They don't want to end certain things. They don't want to have these ego deaths. They don't want to deal with that. So there are going to be a lot of challenges, like, with people being in their ego right now. And a lot of shit is going to, you know, change drastically because of that. And people are being forced to review periods of time where they were too deeply into their ego, you know what I'm saying, and refusal to really, like, take it down a notch or two or 20, okay? The moon in Aries is Canute's Mercury in, well, Mercury in Leo. Mm-hmm. So, you're being given that extra power because it's at one degree, potent. So, you're being given that extra push, that extra power to, with like, you got two fire signs. So, they are, like, playing off of each other, you know? You got the free will here to change. You got the, the power to do so. You got the power to, you know, switch it up. So, like, lean into that shit. The moon in Aries is sextile Mars in, I keep, like, anyway, I ain't going to say it. Gemini. And it looks like, yeah, they are working together. Like I said, that fire energy there is like, and that air energy is like, go, 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 go. Passion, authority, you know what I'm saying? Like, get up and go, new starts, you know, being brave, you know what I mean? The moon in Aries is sextile Uranus in Taurus. It is conjuncting Neptune in Pisces, retrograde, one degree. Neptune in Pluto, busy today. And if you're new here, you know when I say some, uh, you know, a planet is busy, that's neat. That means is they transiting a lot of, like, places. They're, they're there. They're around. So it's a lot of buried things being exposed. It's a lot of changes. It's a lot of, like, transformation like lots that's going down a lot today. Pluto and Neptune is Lilith busy as hell too. Exposing shadow work and stuff. Very busy. It's a lot of oppositions too. It's quite a bit of opposition. It's quite a bit of squaring. Just enough to keep it interesting. <laughs> like, dang, you know, you can spirit it. Damn, can we have one day that ain't no oppositions and squaring? Dude, does that ever happen? I don't know. If you guys are into astrology, like, comment. Tell me. Like, does it ever happen where we don't have squares and we don't have opposition? Like, I know just being, like, a realist, like, you know, obviously there's going to be a little tension. But, like, can we have one fucking day where, like, there isn't some type of deep challenge that has to be conquered? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, you've got, like I said, um, the moon in Aries is sextile Pluto in Aquarius. So like zero degrees. So you've got the energy, like you're having to review things. Um, you're having to like, get on up out of there, burn that road up. <laughs> Chaos, confusion, you know, the Aries, that planet of war, that planet of Mars energy, baby. Okay. Like, people is looking back and, like, mm, I don't like the very aggressive energy, for real, for real. Especially with it being at zero degrees. Mercury in Leo is squaring both Mars and Gemini and Uranus and Taurus. <laughs> being um, stubborn about making a significant change. 
um, people challenging your individuality, your uniqueness, the way you think, people challenging the way you move, you know, what you're passionate about. You might feel a little challenged with that, but that's why you can't be on this for crowd approval. Like when you really get into this like spiritual shit, you really got to do it for you, you know, do it for the love because a lot of times you're going to receive, I ain't going to say a lot of times, I'm going to say most of the time, like if not all the time, you will experience like resistance around you, like people who want to stay asleep or not even stay asleep because everybody's entitled to their own journey. Everybody's entitled to their own like path. But you'll see just a lot of people that just, you know, they they don't like change. They don't they scare to change. They they tear down different. You know what I'm saying? So when you get into this lifestyle, you know, you you gotta be strong in your values and your why, you know, as an evolved hustler even you you gotta you gotta be do it for the love, like Fabulous said. You know, y'all might want to listen to um, Fabulous do it for the love. I think that's what it's called. Because you can't be doing this shit for show. Because people will tell you, they they live to tear different down. So I see why it's squaring right now. You know, Mercury is conducting Neptune in. Pisces and Pluto in Aquarius, both at zero degrees. So it's like Leo is giving you the confidence to push forward and follow your intuition, create a new lifestyle, accept changes, accept endings, tackle the challenges that come your way. You you should be super brave today. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't be afraid of a bitch ass thing today, okay? Part of my Francais, but not really. Now, you've got um Venus in Leo. Very lovey for yourself. Very confident energy. Sex talent, Jupiter in Gemini. So very confident, very uh magnetic energy. Um, Venus is canoeing Saturn in Pisces retrograde at one degree. The discipline, doing it for the love, receiving Dharma as well as karma. You know, for how you love others and how you love yourself. Mars is conjuncting Uranus and Taurus in sextile Neptune in Pisces retrograde. It is also trining Pluto and Aquarius at two degrees. Jupiter in Gemini is squaring Saturn in Pisces retrograde at five. So five is the number of transformation and change, um, shifting. So you're not going to be able to ignore certain things today. Karma is or reaping what you sow. Because a lot of people be like, I don't believe in karma. Um... If you don't believe in karma, you don't believe in reaping what you sow, um, I know you believe in energy. And it is neither destroyed. You know what they say? Energy is neither destroyed or created. It just simply, like, recycles itself. So you put out what you put out, you get you get back. And I feel like that's what that Jupiter and Gemini squaring Saturn and Pisces retrograde, like, is about, you know? Uranus and Taurus is sextile Neptune and Pisces. It is trining Pluto and Aquarius retrograde. Uh, supportive, very supportive. Like Uranus and Taurus is like for the long term. I want to see change. I want to see new things. I I want to see the old way go away. Neptune and Pisces retrograde is sextile Pluto in Aquarius retrograde at one degree zero one. Yeah, so that's 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 cool. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Some somebody's being forced to address some shit today. <laughs> oh, when I see them two together, I think you know the gossiping auntie. <laughs> okay, so you got the nodes in Aries trining the sun in Leo 
and conjuncting the moon in Aries and sextile Jupiter and Gemini. The nodes are retrograding. So you are having a moment to stop and take a look at your new endeavors, how you're going to make change from past mistakes or challenges. And, you know, justice for things that were done in the dark, things that caused people to struggle, you know. Lilith busy in Libra, fairness, balancing the scales, creating relationships, friendships, any ships, business partnerships, take away resonates. Is sextile the sun in Leo zero degrees. So very much shedding a light on like <laughs> what you thought, you know, you may be worked on. You know, Lilith is all about childhood trauma and shadow work. Uh, it's opposing the moon, illuminating. Ooh, -hoo. and that moon is in Aries. It's at one degree. Oh my lord! It's trining Mars. It is at zero degrees, and it's trining Uranus, opposing Neptune per usual. It's making its way though, cause now it's at three degrees. It's, it's trying. It's it's taking its t sweet, precious fucking. It's like, you're going to catch this list and you're going to get this issue. <laughs> Trining Pluto in Aquarius. Chiron is squaring the sun. Ooh, people, them deep, deep secrets. Ew, God. They're coming up. And it's causing a minor conflict because some people, you know, operate not in the people. A lot of, it's a lot of ego deaths happening right now. Chiron in Aries is trining Mercury in Leo and Venus in Leo as well. Change, transformation, 6-6. Six, six. People be looking at 666 six, six like it's a bad number. It's really not. Like rebirth, transformation, shit like that. That's where that come from if you ask me. Now, let's see what's going on now. Mm-hmm. We going to check out what our elevated ancestors and our spirit team have for us with God. You know, while I shuffle, you know, and I know this is something we're going to continue to go through. Um, you know, it, it, it's a story as old as the beginning of time, but that don't make it no more like easier. You know what I'm saying? To have to deal with because it's so it's still lightweight annoying. But, like, people assume, like asses, that you, just because you practice a certain, like, like, a, like you, you deal with the occult, which means, like, hidden knowledge. You know, you are, you don't, you don't fuck with God. Like, they really, like, people really, like, ignorant. In 2024, as knowledgeable and widespread as it is to gain some type of introspection and knowledge like all you got to do is hit that google button you know if you're not a reader you can you visually you hear things youtube but i feel like it, that's a damn disgrace it's 2024 and y'all still like looking at people that are into hoodoo or you know if you're you're into just traditional pagan work or voodoo or you know santeria or whatever like they automatically assume that you and god don't rock out like it's weird you know you and great spirit don't rock out and i be thinking to myself like do you know how insulting that is Imagine being indigenous, right? And your culture has taught you to see spirit as great spirit or find the animism in everything. Like that's that means like everything has a spirit. Everything has a feels because it's made from energy. Like I could go even further. Imagine being a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like how do you assume that? It's such a closed-minded, narrow-minded way to think. Like, they immediately assume. And, you know, everybody ain't meant to be a chief. 
So, and that's not an insult. Everybody got their lane in this lifetime, you know. But if, like, you... Uh, it's like people don't respect the fact that some of people have gifts, you know. And just because either they haven't tapped into their gift or they they don't have it at all. Maybe they just a, a place, a seat filler this season. You know, they ignorantly assume that, oh, yeah, you have a gift. That's the money. And I see why, like, the story of Jesus. Like, I totally get it. Like, he was telling people he was divine. He was telling people he could heal people. And then, and then it's crazy because it's like they be all for Jesus, but, like, not taking in the lesson you know what i'm saying of it all like that's why the romans like romans correct me if i'm wrong in the comments that's why the romans like like did what they did to him because they didn't believe he had a gift they felt like he was being too damn much you know so it's so like uh, hypocritical to say i'm for jesus i'm for god but I get to decide if you really have a gift or not. The fuck? Like, as I shuffle the cards, you know? Like, the people, like, they they thought they could tell Jesus, too. They thought, they thought that. And that's why he was crucified. Because he was, they, it was, he was crucified, you can look it up, for blasphemy. For saying he was divine. And people do not be realizing it, like, who be deeply off into, like, secular, I mean, not secular, traditional religion. Like, you are a hypocrite. You say you for your boy Jesus, but you say you for be God. But then you say, well, you ain't got the gift to work with herbs and roots. You ain't got the gift to, you know, talk to the spirits. Like, that shit's so ignorant. And I just feel like in 2024, like for real, bro, we in the we in the realm of like fucking AI, you know, we're in the realm of just crazy ass phenomenon. And y'all still on that bullshit talking about y'all Christians and y'all Baptists. But that's, and you, you bet you for a big guy, you for Jesus. Jesus wasn't no regular person. Like. Jesus had gifts. And you think that shit comes along once in a fucking lifetime, once in a millennia? Do you think big God, big great spirit stopped? You think great spirit, great spirit just said, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> great spirit said, fuck it, I'm done. I'm never, ever giving anybody else a motherfucking gift. Nobody else gets the gifts. Like to me, that's how they think. And it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta like laugh at that shit because it's so bottom of the barrel crabs in a barrel mentality like sit back tap into your gifts listen to spirit don't be afraid to be different like that shit's so that shit's super weird so y'all really believe like for real though so y'all out here believe in spirit god stopped he didn't make no more people with gifts after that. And all these thousands and tens and thousands of years, Spirit made not another fucking person with gifts. Spirit stopped talking to people when Jesus got crucified. Spirit just stopped talking to people. <laughs> Spirit stopped sending healers. Like, Jesus got crucified and Spirit just stopped sending fucking healers. Like, Moses went on the fucking mountain and never came back. And... Spirit just said, fuck it. I ain't sending nobody else. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, for real. And I don't be thinking like people be realizing how stupid and ignorant and closed-minded they actually sound when they get to talking. And I just be like, oh, my God. And it be at a certain point, I just, I, I be like, uh, no. And I just stop, like, entertaining because... Baby, God did not stop making miracles. God did not stop sending angels. 
God did not stop sending guides. God did not stop doing that shit, bruh. <laughs> like, period. Like, there are people that walk amongst you that are here for a purpose and a reason. And they have special gifts. And I feel like people, everybody got a gift. They just don't tap into it, you know? Like, I ain't trying to say, like, that chosen shit. Like, oh, we the only ones. Like, no. I feel like everybody got a gift. You might not have the same gift, but you were blessed with something. Now, whether you choose to tap into it or not, that's, you know. That's your thing, but I just, that's my rant for today. Like, Spirit did not stop making miracles. Spirit did not stop sending angels. Spirit did not stop giving people gifts because it's not the fucking, like, 900 BC, nigga. The fuck? <laughs> should be rubbing me the wrong way because i'd be like damn you just want to you want a motherfucker to be regular huh you man you want somebody to be regular with you huh you you upset you 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 crowd control crowd control <laughs> like fucking crab in a barrel ass niggas i mean i'm sorry for all my you know what i'm saying my lovers you know what i'm saying <laughs> to be politically correct people being crowded a crab in a barrel period i watched a girl on tiktok yesterday break down to a fucking science word for word some shit and it was people in the comments like you're an abomination i fear for the next level people just say anything everybody's got a platform and they don't need it like she went into like deep detail y'all like it was worth at least a look see you know but people be so ignorant, so close-minded, so caught up in the 3D, the mundane. Like, y'all really out here thinking that a motherfucker got to descend from the sky with a white robe and a, a fucking a got, a goddamn lit-up halo. Like, the reality of the situation is angels and like don't even look how people think they look. That's the reality of the situation. Like, a lot of ways that people perceive the what it is ain't what the fuck it is. Hmm. Anyway. All right, y'all. Let's get into this reading because that's enough of me reading. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, that shit. Can you tell to get something to my skin? And that's because I get done like that a lot. Like, and you people will, like, they are, they will, they will try to bring you down. They will. Like, the only way you can have a gift is if you standing in a pulpit. The only way you can have a gift is if you go to some organized religion every single Sunday or Saturday. That's the only way you can actually have a gift. Other than that, it's blasphemy. It's bullshit. It's fake. It's demonic. It's whatever and again this is a story as old as time but as long as spirit put it on my heart i am never gonna stop fighting for my motherfucking rights so whenever spirit put it in my spirit <laughs> whenever god put it in my spirit because i did a double entendre wherever god puts it in my spirit to like speak on that shit i will because you sound crazy as fuck and them be the type of people you just got to lead them where they got you fucked up at. Because, baby, you want to stay in the 3D. You don't believe. You don't. You ain't got the shine, my boy. Good, whatever. You ain't got the shine. So you, 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 you expect it. You don't think nobody else supposed to have the shine either. You ain't got the shine. So you don't think nobody else supposed to have it either. Like, Spirit told me to say that more than one time because somebody need to hit it. <laughs> You ain't got the people around you don't have the shine. So they don't expect you to have the shine either. Okay. Period. Shout out to Leo season in his team. Okay. All right, Papa. Thank you so much for opening the roads for me and allowing me to communicate with my spirit team and great spirit, AKA God for all the inquiring minds Thank you so much for coverage and protection. Thank you so much for clarity and discernment. You know how I feel about the gifts. Thank you for the gift. I don't abuse the gift. I love it. I honor it. I appreciate it. 
it's one of my favorite things to do to chit chat with the spirits for you guys so you know let's get into it let's get to the tea okay <laughs> or progression you know i'll take either either or either or all right y'all let's see what they get all jokes aside let's see what's going on <laughs> all right spirit tell me about the past energy so we got eight of sticks in the reverse give me the present we got eight of knives in the upright. Give me the collective energy. Five of baskets in the upright. Tell me about the near future. Three of knives in the reverse. Tell me about the overall. The garden in reverse. So we got a lot of feels here. Um, A lot of negative, well, not a lot of negative thinking some negativity here but somebody's healing their feelings and deciding to move forward um definitely a lot of deciding making decisions but there is some sort of halt here from the past something may have been holding you up from the past but it looks like you found your way out of this predicament and you've chosen to move on this may be a heartbreaking or situation um, but there's also a cycle that has not ended. So let me check the temperature. Okay. It's getting so dark in here, y'all. I don't know where y'all live, but when I meet the weather camera, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. I can't wait to get some fucking rocking chairs for my porch. Cause I'm supposed to be on my porch rocking and drinking my coffee and, you know, gardening. Okay. For the politically correct. Tell me about the eight of sticks in the reverse, please. So, somebody, okay, we got the grandchildren in the reverse. So, that's Aquarius energy. Somebody is not seeing something here. They're not feeling confident, maybe even. Let me get some more. Tell me more. Get clear with it, because y'all took me down through there yesterday. They made me dig so hard for that message yesterday. Oh, my God. Um, ten of baskets in the upright. So after a period of delays and distractions from you know the past, you might not notice or be confident in the fact that you are going to get your true happiness. So you might not notice it. You might be kind of unconfident. You don't realize justice is being served on your behalf. Things are being balanced out for you, right? Because of, you know, shit that happened in the past. Maybe things were seen to slow you down and take your confidence away from you. But you, you're being granted some type of wish fulfillment, some type of happiness, some type of, like, stability here. Like, you know, um, family could be involved. Um, tell me about the three of knives in the reverse. We're going to do the reverse first because you know how I like my dessert first. Tell me about the three of knives. So there may have been some sort of betrayal, some sort because, you know, had your emotions, you know, maybe you weren't thinking quite clearly about something or someone isn't. Tell me about the seven of baskets in reverse. Because of a betrayal, some sort of a loss or heartbreak, there is some sort of, maybe you was caught up in your head, caught up in your emotions and your feelings, so you weren't thinking clearly. But we got the seven of coins here. Yeah. Something is happening. Even if it's happening slowly, that shit happening. Tell me about the seven of coins. Yeah, spirit wants you to nine of sticks in the upright. Spirit just wants you to stay strong, know that they got your back, and continue to keep your boundaries up and don't give up like willpower type, canoes type energy. Mm hmm Stay strong. Stay don't don't let these betrayals and these heartbreaks like get up get get you out of pocket. Get get in your head. You know, continue to push forward and continue to know that good things are coming to you. 
Like, don't let the past, like, tear you down. Tell me about the garden in reverse. Yeah, something isn't over here. A daughter of sticks. We got fire sign energy in the upright. Yeah, something. The cycle's not over. Somebody's feeling super passionate. Somebody is feeling super pumped. Uh, could be a Pisces, Gullah Jack in the upright, um, hangman energy here overall. Like, a cycle isn't over. It ain't over till it's over, okay? Um, continue to stay passionate. Uh, Gullah Jack, what's this, bitch? Hold on. Stay patient because your loads are being lifted. You are getting help, be it in the 3D or the 4D with the 10 of sticks. Your loads are being lifted. Continue to hold on. Your, you, your loads are being lifted. You're good. Now, we've got the upright here, okay? And we've got the eight of knives and the five of baskets. So the collective is in this five of baskets energy, this recovery energy, this healing energy. Um, and maybe presently you, you realize that it's time for you to make some decisions. It's time for you to, you know, make the necessary cuts, right? Let's see what the guides are talking about. I'm not even going to pull from them. Let me see what's on the bottom. Yeah, something in the past, because you know the back, though. We're going through the back, though. Like something was, somebody or something was stopped from moving forward. Yeah. There was some sort of loss of a partnership, loss of stability here. That maybe, maybe something you couldn't move on from. Yeah, three of baskets in the reverse. With the father of baskets. Hmm. Yeah, there's some sort of loss here. Definitely with the partnership. Something wasn't making progress. I ain't even gonna keep pulling. Not right now. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you avoided some sort of tower. Tower in reverse on the bottom of this deck. You avoided some sort of tower. You avoided some sort of ending here. Tell me about the past energy spirit. Yeah, we got the, what is this, nine of wands in the reverse. Hmm. You're no longer, like, hurt about something. You're no longer, like, yeah, you're no longer hurt. No longer, it doesn't hurt. So, because you are healing, you decided to, you freed yourself from these attachments, these addictions. We got the devil in reverse. You freed yourself from these. Your, your ability to heal allowed you to regain control of your life. It allowed you to heal. It allowed you to change, right? Okay. Clarify the devil in reverse. And there may have been minor delays. We got the eight of wands in reverse. So that eight of wands then came out twice. So any type of minor delays may have had you in con not confident. You know what I'm saying? From the past. Eight of wands in the reverse. Clarity, please. Yeah, it made you feel like helpless. It made you feel like queen of pentacles in reverse energy. Like you couldn't do for yourself or you weren't going to be able to sow these seeds for yourself clarity let me see do, do. but we got the knight of cups in the up right here finally you have decided to move forward and heal anyway you know what i'm saying it's like i'm gonna heal anyway i'm gonna keep going you know what I'm saying? I'm a no limit soldier type thing. Like, baby's kids, bitch. We don't die. We multiply. If you never seen baby's kids, it's the culture classic. You gotta go watch it. Google it. Baby's kids. B-E-B-E. -E. Now, tell me about the present energy. You may be trying to find your way out of some type of predicament, some type of situation presently, and it may have you caught up in your head because we got the nine of swords in the upright here. Clarity? Yeah, it's got you feeling unconfident. Leo could be involved. It's got you not feeling confident, not feeling strong. Clarity? 
Maybe you feeling like you didn't make, you won't make a good choice. The higher funding reverse Taurus. Yeah, it's got you feeling like questioning your choices, Taurus. So spirit is saying, find temperance. Balance is here. Like temperance in the old rights. So we got Sagittarius, Taurus, and Leo. So you moved on from something and someone is worried. Someone is in their head or you're in your head. I'm going to give multiple downloads in this boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm one, two, three, four on the timestamp. If y'all hear me clicking this for me getting like numerology. So when I do the visuals, like I can post it. Okay. So you've moved on, right? And somebody in their head, somebody worried because they didn't have, they weren't strong enough to make a good decision. They didn't make a good decision. They're not confident in their decisions. Take away it where it resonates, okay? Um, but things are being balanced out. Like, shit is being made right. Temperate. Stay balanced. I think I said that yesterday, too. Like, stay in flow. Like, don't let nobody throw you off your square. We all gonna have our moments. I.e., I had a moment the other day. And I had to, like, jump back on my motherfucking square and take my power back. Like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that shit. Hell no, baby. We done graduated that class. <laughs> that is not a course I have to repeat. <laughs> I learned my damn lesson. Mm -mm. So, you know, I had to jump back in my square. Like, oop almost got me close but not close enough um so yeah um like somebody you you moved on you you wiggled your way out you houdini on the ass and people's not they didn't think that you were strong enough to make the right decision but temperance is here spirit has stepped in like i said sagittarius a leo and a taurus could be involved i'll be back Tell me about this five of baskets in the upright. So we got the two of wands in the reverse. You, somebody couldn't, didn't realize something. Somebody didn't make the right choice. Clarity. Yeah, when they, when they invested in something, like somebody didn't make the right choice. You've moved on. Somebody decided not to invest in a collaboration or a partnership. They, or they didn't make the right choice because that two of wands is in the verse. Tell me more about that. Clear that up for me, Spirit. It looks like Spirit is saying the moon in the reverse. Something came out, like some sort of secret came out here. Something's being illuminated and cast out. Yeah, for sure. Um, there could be a Cancer involved. There could be a Leo involved. Mm hmm. Yeah, some somebody like mm, moved on. You decided against something. Somebody made a bad decision, invested in something, and something that they thought like a secret, something that so was being hidden, is coming out. What is it? What is it? Something's coming out. Just about an emperor. Somebody's somebody's realizing something's coming out. Aries. So the moon is in Aries. Upright, oh, take away resonate. What came out about the emperor? There was some sort of injustice here. Something wasn't fair. Libra, reverse. And maybe an emperor did something that wasn't fair. Clarity. We got the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, like this emperor did something that wasn't like the some the the this emperor is on like front street because there was something unfairly done and now like somebody's like refused an offer. Tell me more. I'm interested. I'm invested now. They chose not to heal a situation and king of cups in the reverse this cancer pisces scorpio masculine energy this person in your energy collective is in their feelings like they may have self-sabotaged they may just like be being emotionally manipulated confirmation clarity and now there's some sort of battle five of 
wands. You may be fighting with this person. It caused some sort of fight, but it was not justified. It was not right. Um, it wasn't right. Yeah, it wasn't right. You you fighting. You was battling this person here. This emperor, possibly. Now, or they may be fighting. Ooh. Let's move on, though. Y'all want to know some more, don't y'all? <laughs> Me too, a little bit. But I'm going to keep going. I'll be back. Um, tell me about the near future with the nine of sticks in the other ring. Four of swords. Somebody's not considering something. Somebody didn't think you'd move on. Somebody didn't think you'd walk away. Because we got the four of swords in the reverse to the six of swords in the upright. Yeah, somebody ain't think you'd move on. Mm-hmm. Clarity? Yeah, these not knight of swords in the reverse. Uh, this shit didn't even cross this person's mind, honestly. Um, they didn't think that... Because we got the knight of swords to the ace of pentacles. This person wasn't, like... So, I think moving, I think... This person didn't consider or didn't move to action when it came to extending some sort of offer clarity this king of pentacles in reverse earth sign masculine energy this person was being very stubborn this person was being very cold-hearted um here like they weren't they were being very mean and cold-hearted tell me about the king of pentacles in the reverse yeah they this person is now having some sort of instability. Four of Wands in the reverse, clarity. They're having some sort of instability because Ace of Cups in the reverse. Because they haven't healed. They they haven't made shit right. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. They, they, they not, uh-uh, clarity. And this is all happening. Like, this person is trying to keep this shit under wrap. The hermit. That's why I said that. Any upright. Yeah, this person is trying to keep this shit under wraps. They don't, like, they did something, like, malicious and cold. And, like, they didn't follow their first mind. They just, no, they didn't make a right decision. And this, they, there's a loss here. This person is experiencing some sort of loss of stability because they didn't do what was right. And again, this is something that they tried to hide. <laughs> they tried to hide this shit. Um, there's a Queen of Cups in the reverse. And three of Cups in reverse. They tried to hide these. They They tried to hide this from you. Uh, tell me more about that before I speak on it. Two of swords in the upright. Mm. You've overcome some type of challenge here. Uh, maybe they were blind. You were blind. Shit, hold on. Somebody couldn't see that. Like, somebody is trying to hide that they're emotional about the loss of this partnership okay tell me about the overall energy yeah that's the truth ace of swords in the other right mm. there's a clarity there's a truth being exposed here though and it has to do with a betrayal somebody got clarity about a betrayal ten of swords in the upright Ooh, tell me more yeah, that shit uh, could be Aquarius, the star card in the upright. Yeah, somebody, somebody's gotten clarity about a betrayal. That shit being highlighted too. It's, it's like spotlight. Somebody's realizing that uh, two, four, six, seven of cups in reverse. Somebody's realizing that there's some toxicity here. They they caused this though. 
person was fighting against some sort of it's been highlighted that somebody was fighting to stop this new beginning this new start decisions were made three wands in the upright decisions were made to stop somebody from working towards some sort of goal or accomplishment with the eight of or somebody made a decision that they didn't want to put their they didn't want to put in the work yeah they were cold they were callous page of swords um in the reverse with this somebody made a bad decision yeah somebody was cold somebody was callous um, towards, uh, we got the hangman Pisces energy. They wanted to keep somebody stuck, somebody stagnant. Yup, the charity in reverse. They tried to keep somebody stuck. They didn't, they wanted to hold on. They didn't want you to move on for real. Cherry cancer. They didn't want you to move on. So, like, ah, oh, man, we getting mess. We getting mess. So, Knight of Pentacles in the other right. Somebody knows, like, they knew that they should pursue some sort of offer, right? So, as they, like, took some sort of offer, like, because we got the Knight of Pentacles in the other right with the two of cups in the reverse. Somebody took some sort of offer, like, but that shit was out of alignment. Like, somebody did something out, like, passionately, like, out of lust. Yeah. Bad judgment in reverse. This move that they made um, against the collective, like Libra energy, it was a bad judgment call. This action that they took to end this, like not extend this offer, not have equal give and take. They like, they didn't consider this. This, this was a bad judgment though. Like this person did not make the right decision. And now it looks as though five of swords in the reverse. It's a bad judgment call. And this is something that they can't even, like, fight. Somebody may have decided to give up this fight and step into their own power. So because you decided to, like, give up the fight, you didn't want to fight, like, your power has been restored. Like, after the betrayal, after all the melee, like, the collective just said, no, like, I'm not going. You know, you realize that there was power in surrender. You surrendered. So, spirit stepped in and said, hey, okay, I got I got you. I got your six. And because you did that, you did avoid a tower. You avoided that ending. Okay? You avoided that tower when you took some sort of action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trick, trick on the bottom of the oracle. Let's see what the oracle got to say. Tell me about the past. Somebody, we got care, cancer. So somebody does want to come forward and let you know they care. Somebody from your past. Tell me about the present. Somebody's no longer afraid, fear in reverse, clarity. Somebody's no longer afraid that something's not going to work clarity maybe they didn't feel like they they could provide Taurus clarity yeah somebody's wanting a rebirth yeah like maybe you were afraid you, you couldn't do the work so our spirit saying like things are being balanced out like don't be afraid um that things aren't gonna work out for you and you won't be able to provide for yourself. You are being granted a rebirth on all levels. Tell me about the collective energy. There's some sort of fight. Because somebody didn't believe that. I don't believe that you're trapped. Freedom in reverse. Sacred. Mm sacred don't believe somebody can take your freedom something sacred to you something is sacred to someone clarify it somebody feels like this is sacred but it hasn't been revealed yeah somebody's definitely keeping a secret somebody something's not revealed there's a secret somebody's keeping a secret 
Now I gotta say, what's the secret? Damn. It's been revealed. It hasn't been revealed. Somebody has a secret here. Um, I'm gonna come back with the tarot for that. No. Tell me about the near future, please. Spirit wants you to continue to be patient as you go through this process. Give yourself grace. Overall, please. So yeah, stay determined to walk in your power. Pisces could be significant again. Yeah, somebody was like tricked or trying to trick you out of your joy so that you wouldn't make a deal and you couldn't defend yourself and you couldn't protect yourself and you just move without thinking, without inspiration. That was their intention. Yeah, to be, to con you. Cunning energy. But, ooh, I just looked the thing over and said energy. Yeah, this was definitely a cunning energy. Yeah, somebody lacked courage to reveal something. Mystery. Somebody lacked courage. This is no longer a mystery, though. Somebody um, hasn't forgotten. No collaboration. Play. I ain't gonna go no further. Okay. All right, spirit. Now, before we get on, what's the secret? Because that's funny. What's the secret? This father of Nas in the reverse. What? The secret is... Hold on. Then we got the empress. What the secret? This father of Nas. What he be doing? Mm. Okay, so he could have been the king of swords or the father of knives is like mean as fuck. Okay, clarity. Realizes daughter of knives. This was a wish fulfillment. Okay, so they're very stubborn too. So this father Nas was being stubborn about this empress, but it seems that there's been some sort of message or realization that this is their wish fulfillment. That's the secret they're keeping. That they realize that you're the empress is their wish fulfillment. And this is like um, energy, not gender specific. That's the secret. I had to go through that to, to find that but it wasn't hard thank you spirit for not making me have to dig for that because sometimes when like the secret is shit it's like uh like good lord it's like pulling teeth trying to get it up oh my god <laughs> uh, so yeah that's what's up y'all that's the tea okay that's the tea that's the that's that's everything I. That's that's what it is. That's what's going on. That's what's, that's the haps. Stay patient. Stay determined. Everything gonna work out. Your wishes will be fulfilled. You you know continue to take care of yourself. You know there's a rebirth happening. You know it's 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 slow and steady wins the race. You know what I'm saying I know we could all be a little, anxious. For things to shift in our favor, but just stay cool, you know. Like Saturn and Pisces retrograding, like people are being forced to deal with that deep shit. People are being forced to deal with like the the part the pieces and parts of them that they think that they are hiding from the world. You know, it's more about who you are when no one's looking. So it's not about other people's karma or dharma it's, or reaping what you sow in this retrospect. It's about you, your deep, what you really put out there in the world on a spiritual level, on an energetic level. That's that's what's being illuminated so it can be fixed. Like people are no longer able to hide their true nature. You know, and they go for the collective as well as anybody else, you know? Period. But the a cycle isn't over though. Somebody is definitely very passionate because about um 
holding on to something and coming in to lift some burdens for you. Yeah, they've been they realized that there was some sort of betrayal. Yeah, they mm -hmm. that's a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I hope this message resonates and you know I hope it gave somebody the clarity and the comfort that they need today. I appreciate y'all so much for indulging with me today as I rant and I read. And um if you guys need an appointment, like I said, click the link in my bio. I do have available slots. I probably will go live a little later today. So check me out. Turn your notifications in on on TikTok. I will be around. And um, yeah, tell a friend to tell a friend. I right? share these. You you know, even if you don't resonate, the next person might. You never know. Is you know, pay it forward. You never know who can help. But yeah, I love you guys so much and. Turn your notifications on for the full and the extended readings. The readings from yesterday is available too, so just let y'all know. We'll chat soon. Bye.